Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what we have here is a Baton L226885 millimeter disc detainer padlock, and this was lent to me by the incredibly talented Daz Evers. Please do go check out his channel if you're not already subscribed. Definitely worth a look. So this is actually a 13 disc padlock. I suppose you could think of it as a 12 disc plus a gated spinner, but it's a gated spinner, so I consider that a disc. You have to pick it. And here is the key. There we go. Um, ignore those little pen marks for a minute. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, very nicely operating lock. Really, really just solid. Just a, a good quality lock all in all, I have to say, for a, a disc detainer. So, how does it tension? Well, if you're approaching one of these locks, the first thing I would do is try rear tension. Why? Well, um, if you look at nearly all disc padlocks, they all have a zero disc at the end. Here are two baton keys, completely differently bitted, and you can see that the end disc would be a zero disc which you could tension off. And that's the same for nearly all um, disc padlocks, or bike locks for that matter. But the thing is, most people have a front tensioner. So um, could you front tension these? Well, you could. Again, if you didn't know what the key bitting was, uh, the best way to find out if you can tension it is just put in the pick, turn it, and then see whether you can feel the discs inside binding as you move them back and forth. What do I mean by that? Well, if you don't put any tension on and move them back and forth, you'll see what they are like in their resting state. And then if you add some tension, you, you'll feel them, um, or a few of them start to give more feedback. That's what we call binding. And that would indicate that you might be able to pick it front tensioning. But like I said, nearly all of these locks are actually rear tensioning. So um, this lock is actually able to be front tensioned. Why? Well, if you look at the key, you look at all this bitting, but what you might not notice is these three cuts here. That just looks like the, um, the, the rest of the key, but actually that, that, and that are zero cuts. The first for the spinner and then two zero cut discs afterwards. So technically with a front tensioning um, tool you could easily tension the first two discs or at least the second disc zero cut. Um, so you could do that. Compare it to uh, its little brother which I picked in a recent video. You'll see that actually on this lock that's the cut for the spinner, but then you have this uh, really, really deep cut next door to it, and that would be very difficult to tension off, albeit relatively possible in some locks, that would mean that you just couldn't tension it. As soon as you tension against that disc, you'd lose all feedback. So bearing that in mind, what I think I'll do is I will actually rear tension this lock, because I think that whilst you might get lucky in any disdetained lock where you might be able to easily tension off the front. The chances are that you'll have a bitting, which means that you are less easily able to tension off the front, um, if at all. So yeah, let's throw this in a vise and, um, and get picking. Okay, so we are all in the vise and I'm going to use this gut wrench to wiggle my way through all those discs and turn everything well, I could do it all the way to the anti-clockwise, but I'm going to do everything absolutely clockwise. Um, there we go. Nice. That means that I can tension with this rear tensioning tool. I'm going to choose the fine markings, which are, well, similar to the spacing on the discs on this lock, which just helps you keep it stable when you're picking. And um, what you do have to do is once you've got the tension is try to keep the whole thing absolutely centered so that um, it's the tip can easily go up and down inside the lock which I think we've got close enough there okay so uh, starting on the spinner feels good where it is so um, I'm just gonna leave that Can't feel anything on two yet. It's 
all three. Binding a little bit on four, but I feel like we're on a gate about there. Feels like where it sort of binds and loosens off somewhere around here, so I'm going to leave that. So that's um, five. Let's go to six now. Okay, that a little click, and we're in a gate. Same again. That's um. Then we'll disc nine now. Rough, 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 rough. Goes loose about there, okay. Oh. No feedback on that disc at all. Right, back to the end. No, we've got nothing on uh, 12. Oh, nice and notchy on um, 11. So I'll, I think that's a gate. That feels like in gate on ten. Oh, that's that's very solid round one. In fact, the whole thing feels like it's going to go. It is going to go. There we go. Got it picked. Just must be rocking that sidebar into the the gates, which may or may not have been completely aligned. Sometimes you find that when it's all hung up, you just sort of rock the tension a bit. You can sort of feel when the core wants to go it just sort of moves a bit more positively but if it doesn't go rock it back and forth a bit and you might find it's getting open so let's um let's see if I can oh I think it is open I just got the whole thing trapped against the uh, end of the um vice there you go right let's quickly disassemble this Okay, so not the prettiest of guttings, but yeah, you can see all the discs. There's nothing um, here that is too surprising apart from the number. So you've got your 12 standard discs and then this spinner, which just rotates round and round and round. You can't tension off it, but you can see it's gated there. Um, there is the sidebar that goes into all those gates, kind of cool. Um, yeah, just a, a nice little lock. So thank you, Daz, for lending me this. Great fun lock to um, explore. Like I said, you can front tension this one quite easily, but again, you know, with these kind of locks, uh, it's it's easier to sort of just assume they rear tension and go with that because um, some of them are just not easily front tensioned. Right. Hope you found that interesting. I'll see you all next time.